What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today I'm going to give you the gist about imprint stones. You know, where you actually farm them, how to level them up, where to get the resources to level them up, and so on. And specifically, we're going to be kind of focusing on the Guilty Gear characters, so that way all of you are well aware of which imprint stones you should actually use for each of these characters. And it's actually going to be pretty simple. So what is an imprint stone? Well, an imprint stone is a material that is used to level up characters. Whenever you click on imprint stone right here, this will show up right here. And you're going to have five boxes. You see the circle, you see a diamond, hexagon, moon, and star shaped, right? And whenever you go down to the bottom here and you click manage stones, you'll see that you're going to have some stones available for you. Now, certain characters have specific stones that are available for them, but we're just going to focus on the Guilty Gear characters. Now, these are the Guilty Gear imprint stones. So, obviously, the circle can go right here. Right? You see this unpair thing? This means that you can actually unpair it. You can actually take this and unequip it from the character as long as you have these unpairing kits, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. And that's something that's actually nice. So you could actually level up these stones. You could actually unpair it because they're binded to a specific character. Like right now, this stone is binded to Biken. So if I unpaired it, it wouldn't be binded to her anymore. And if I equip the same stone on Eno here, then it would be binded to Eno. And if I wanted to take that stone and put it on another character, I would have to have another one of these unpairing kits, unpair it, and then bind it to another character. Had a bit of a freeze there. That's the first thing that you need to know, that some stones you can unpair from characters, some stones you can't. Actually, all the stones you can unpair, except for like uh, the gold imprint stones, like these stones right here, you cannot unpair. Once you equip one of these stones on any character in the game, they're stuck with them. Now you can take the stone off and put a different stone on them, but these stones here, you cannot unpair. So always be very leery and weary of leveling up one of these stones for a specific character. But when it comes to like collaboration characters, it's actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple. So where do you get the stones? Well, you get the stones for the collaboration characters in the event codex. You can actually click on here and I have my Eno at A3, three star. So I'll click on here and then we can collect all these little goodies right here. And these are your imprint stone boxes right here. We'll collect all these. So whenever she's at one star, we'll get this first stone. Whenever she's at Awakened Tier 2, two stars. We'll get this second stone and then three stars. We'll get this third stone. And we'll go ahead and go into the summons here. We'll click on that. We'll go all the way down to the bottom. And here we go. So once you get down here, you can actually click on your little search button here. And you can actually look and see what kind of effects these stones actually have. You see this one here says attack. This one here says defense, HP, attack, and HP. And then defense and HP. People are always wondering, you know, what are the best stones? Well, you can see that I've already used two of the attack stones. You click on this, you increase attack. This goes up to 10%. Generally for Guilty Gear or really for collaboration characters, uh, SS and BS characters. This is a typical thing that you're going to see with a lot of these stones is that they, this stone here, when it's fully maxed out, it'll go up to 10%. And then this last stat here will actually go up to 10% as well. So you always get 20% attack with these stones. But the second stat is always some kind of specific stat that can apply. Like, for example, for this stone, it's Blast Skill. And this actually goes up to 15% when it's completely maxed out. So characters with Blast Skills, it does really, really well on them. And all of these stones are going to have increase the blast skill every single one of them it's just the first stat is what's actually changing you know you got hp on this one you have defense on this one you have attack on this one for all of the guilty gear characters you're going to want to use the attack stones and i'll show you why here in a second i'm gonna go ahead and collect one right here all right you're going to want to use the attack stones because all of these characters have attack buffs every single one of them they have an increase to attack so when I scroll down here and we go to Guilty Gear, we'll just click on uh, Saul here. Now Saul doesn't have an increase to attack. Like usually you look in your skills and you see is there a solid attack buff, right? But you see deal burn damage equal to 37% of attack, okay? It's based off his deck. His dot is based off of attack. So the more attack this character has, the more dot damage he's actually going to be dealing. It's going to make him a, a lot stronger. So you want to go with attack. Now, the other thing to note is that my face is actually in the way, but he is a red balance. Pretty much all the balance type fighters and all the attack type fighters, you always put attack stones on them. 
pretty much every single one. It's only the defensive characters where in a rare occasion that you don't. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about with like the other characters. So we click on Dizzy here, who I don't have yet. And we go down to this here. You see this used to increase attack by 38%. Anytime you see this on a character, you know, this isn't based off defense, nothing like that. Anytime you see this, that is a solid attack buff. And when you do see that, or when they have dot explosions. So you see the deal burn damage equal to 4.5 times. Sometimes it's 2.2 times. Sometimes it's 1.8 times and so on and so on. Anytime they have dot explosion like this, you see this little effect. They need attack stones because this is based off of their attack because her burn damage is based off of her attack, right? You can see the deal burn damage equal to 30% of attack. So anytime you see dot explosion, anytime you see these giant attack buffs, you're always going to want to use attack stones on your characters. And this is for any character in the game. And all these characters have attack buffs, including Mei here, who we got for free. She is a defensive character. But if you scroll down here, she does have an increased attack by 35% for seven seconds. And even though she's a defensive character, and even though she does have increased attack by 50% of defense, which is good, right? The more defenses she has, the more attacks she's going to have. You will find that characters that have these increased attack buffs, they're still going to have more damage with attack stones. This is something that I and many other YouTubers have tested multiple times. And every time with attack stones, we always get more damage out of the characters. So that's just something to keep in mind when it comes through imprint stones. Pretty much always attack when you see the increased attacks or if you see that dot explosion almost every single time. Every once in a great while, maybe you'd look at a certain defensive character and if they don't have a dot, if they don't have dot explosion, if they don't have an increased attack buff, just a solid increased attack buff, then more than likely they would use a defensive stone. But that's really the only case where you would use like defensive stones for your characters. Now, as far as leveling up an imprint stone, you have these five boxes right here. We'll just start from the top here. We'll click on profile so you guys can see from scratch. You click on imprint stone. All right, you click on manage imprint stones. And then this box actually shows up. Now we just collected that circular stone. Or, yeah, there it is right there, right? We just collected that. We're going to go ahead and equip it. And remember, once you equip this stone to a specific character, they're binded to that character. And the only way to unequip it is unpair it like I showed you earlier. So we'll go ahead and equip this thing. There we go. And by the way, you could use gold stones on these characters if you want. But I would highly advise just using their stones that are actually recommended for them. So we'll click on this and we're going to hit enhance. Now, whenever you enhance in stone, whenever you're leveling up, you need a couple different resources. You need these, the salvaging currency and you're going to need hammers. Now we actually are getting these guilty gear hammers. Now, as far as leveling up a stone, you always want to start with these hammers first and you'll click consecutive enhance. You'll go all the way to four and let it fly. And you're just going to let it go and it's going to use your uh, and salvaging materials to level up these hammers. And every time you level up a hammer you're, and it fails, your enhanced success rate actually goes up. If you guys are paying attention to this rate, it's actually going up as we go. So we'll just go ahead and let it play out. Hopefully it'll finish here pretty quickly. If not, I might go ahead and edit out some of this video or just kind of speed past a lot of it. Just so you guys don't have, so I, so you, just so you guys don't have to watch all of this in real time. Okay, finally, that took a bit of time. Now, you want to use these stones right here whenever you're leveling, enhancing your imprint stones from level four to six. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it because anything past six, you can't use these stones right here. So we'll click consecutive enhance. We'll go up to six and we'll let it fly. And hopefully, oh, nice. We got success immediately, which is pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. And I'll show you guys where to get the materials to level up these imprint stones as well. Hmm. All right, all right. So that didn't take very long at all. Very sweet. Now, once you get up to six here, then you're going to have to use your gold stones or these elite stones. These stones here actually will give you a higher percentage as far as your rate. But I'm just going to go ahead and use my gold hammers. And because I only have like 20 of those elites and we're going to go all the way up to 10 and we're going to let it fly. 
And once the stone reaches the level 10, you're going to get all the stats on this thing. Every single thing, and it's all going to be completely maxed out. And I'll probably go ahead and speed this part up, so again, you guys don't have to watch all of this in real time. Okay, finally, that took a bit of time. Now, for all you new players that are in this game, you really only want to be leveling up your imprint stones to level 7. Don't try to take them at level 10 because you're just not going to have the resources. You're, gonna, you're not going to have enough gold hammers. So something I want to show you guys really quick. So now where our attack is up at 10%, our last attack is up at 10%, and our blast skill is at 15%. And let me show you the difference in CP that just one stone makes, at least on an A3 character. So right now, my Eno has 47,580 CP. You see the attack here, you see the defenses, right? And you see the HP. Now, when you take that stone off of her, you can see that we just lost 7,000 CP. And now we're at 40,000 CP. So that's the difference this one stone makes. We have 35,000 attack, right? And then we slap that stone back on her. And now it's going to skyrocket, right? Now we got way more attack. So these stones are a big way in how we level up our CP, our combat power, to make our characters a whole lot stronger than what they previously are. Now, where do you get the materials to level up your imprint stones? Well, you come out of here and you go into soul. And my face is actually in the way, but you'd actually click on what's called salvage. Once you click on salvage, you would go to your characters here and any character that you have maxed out like you see these say maxed any character that you have maxed are the ones that you're gonna want to be using or characters that just aren't very useful and there's a lot of characters there so like right now i got this one here heavy d he's maxed i click on that right and then if there's any more i would click on them and use them and so on and so on and so on right and then i click on salvage and you can see i got 2400 of these things and for every one of these guys that i add right I'm going to be getting more and more of these. And you just click on salvage. And that's where you're going to get these soul dust to level up your imprint stones. And as far as getting gold hammers, gold hammers are the same place where you're actually going to get your regular imprint stones aside from collaboration stones or SS or BS stones. So one place is you're going to get them from Guild Raid. <laughs> you'll get stones from here so you click on reward info you click on your box here and you'll be able to get stones you'll be able to get hammers you'll be able to get experience bottles and so on and so on and so on and so on when you're playing on the most difficult level that's when you can actually get some really good goodies you got the gold stones you have unpairing kits there's your gold hammers and so on and so on so this is where we farm for our gold hammers. This is where we farm for our regular imprint stones like capsules and experience balls and what so have you. And we also farm for our gold hammers and imprint stones and other game modes such as the team relay challenge here. You can farm for your imprint stones and gold hammers in here. You can also farm for them in Dungeon of Trials and this game mode here as well takes a bit for it to actually uh get through this loading screen but you can get them from here also you'll be getting boxes from here as well i mean you're going to get boxes from this game mode you're going to get boxes from that team relay challenge that i showed you you're going to get boxes from guild raid and all of those places is where you can farm gold hammers and imprint stones and also in the rush dungeon and the rush dungeons this is the reason why we really love these rush dungeons is you know whenever you're acquiring all these coins uh every rush dungeon has a you know certain coin that you can get a certain type of these coins that you can get and you can actually use those coins to come in here and you can actually buy your gold hammers this is something you should be doing every single day right you also have these elite hammers here that you can actually use from level four to six for your imprint stones you should be buying those every day as well to try to save you from using other gold hammers that you might have available in the game 
and just buying all of these things here. So hopefully that will help some of you out there as far as, you know, understanding imprint stones and what stats you should be putting on them, at least for the collaboration characters. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do a few summons because I don't want to do a bunch of little summon videos. So I'm just going to try to put these all together and just go for gold and see what we can get because I really do need some cards. I need maze card. All right. I need to get dizzy still. Be awesome if I could get biking right now. That'd be pretty dope. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. Okay, nothing, but you know, okay, whatever. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to try to get dizzy. I don't have dizzy at all. I have one selected for the character, but that is it. So we're going to start pulling for this and hope like hell we can get her. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. We'll try something different today. We'll just do a little skipping. Hopefully my game don't crash. It looks like we got a bit of a freeze here. Things have gotten a little wacky. Uh, hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, playing on an emulator. I mean, yeah. Not bad. Nothing. Okay. And I will go to the pity for this banner here. Uh, eventually, just to make sure I go to the selector. Because I do want to get, I want, I'm trying to get all three, all these characters to A3. I want to get all of them to A3. And it's pretty easy with the regular collaboration characters, but when it comes to the SS, I mean, one of them for sure you can easily get to A3 because of all the free SS memories. Uh, maybe even two, but getting three of them might take a little bit of a, some pulls. Okay. Okay, I, I would have preferred an SS character because uh, I really don't need another May, but this gives me three May three maze so i can actually use those later man i can actually use those to make another ss memory so that's okay that's okay all right no big deal come on now you know give me like dizzy another may are you kidding me may loves me may loves me where is dizzy where is dizzy they're probably gonna make me go this damn pity again to try to get another selector for dizzy which sucks okay Skip that. Dizzy is eluding me big time. Big time. I already have Ramlethal, so I'm not worried about her. I can easily level her up. Come on now. Dizzy, Dizzy. Girl, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? She doesn't want to share the love, man. She don't want to share the love. Jesus, Manitli. Well, I guess I'll be leveling up uh, May a little bit more. Absolutely terrible, guys. So, I mean, you know, we got quite a few more pulls before we get to the pity, but it looks like I'm going to have to go to this pity, so that way I can get dizzy, which sucks. But, it is what it is. So, let me know how y'all doing in the game. Let me know the what kind of pulls that you've been getting, and I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GNT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See ya.